What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Got the bed and the truck pulled out. I'm going to show you how it turned out. So, turned out really nice. I'm actually going to go over it and do one more light coat on it. There's a few spots that I want to touch up, but for the most part it's pretty well done. And then here is the frame. And I had someone ask if I'm, I'm going to do the axle. I'm planning on doing the axle later on. It's I don't have the tools to really clean it as well as I'd like to right now. I want to actually use a pressure washer for that. So I'll do that at a later time. But the frame is looking really, really good. So I'll, I'm going to go do one more quick coat on this. And then the next thing we'll do is start body work on the bed. So let's do this real quick. I was also curious how this would hold up. Uh, over you know it's been actually a couple days um, and what I did was I you know I poked holes in it to pour it and I just stuck a couple nails in there uh, to block it off and they can break free and come out and it held up just fine um, as you can see no issues and I actually went and read online about it and I think the problem is if you actually open the top of the can and then put it back on it'll seal shut completely so you can't reopen it. So using these little holes worked out really well. Just a tip for you guys. I can tell you made those. Also, I got some better gloves to keep it off my hands and I got some better brushes. So I'll let you know how those work. All right guys, I got it chassis savored as much as I'm gonna get it for right now. So let me show you. I just kind of went over everything a little bit more, got the leaf springs a little bit better, got the blocks. Like I said, didn't get the axles yet. And then I also, which you saw, I also kind of undercoated the outside portion of the cab up to a certain point. Uh, to the point where I still need to degrease it and clean it a little bit. There you can see it turned out really, really nice. And then Here's the last look at the bed. Very clean. So now we're going to move on to body work. And like I said, we're going to start with the bed. Um, I'll show you what I'm going to start with. I'm going to start with this dent right here. 
It's actually the worst dent, but I think it might be one of the easiest. I'm just going to kind of get a jack under here, a little hydraulic jack, and push it up and see if we can't just bend it up and then maybe do a little bit of body work. And then there's one more dent. Let me see. Must be on that same side. Yeah, you can kind of see it right here. See that reflection? So I'll hammer that out just a little bit. So once we pull those two bigger dents on the lower portion out, we'll flip the bed over and start sanding and doing other body work. And like I said earlier, by no means am I an experienced body guy, so I'm gonna do the best I can. I'll show you some here and there, but uh, you know, I like to take pride in my ability to teach how to do things. This is one technique that I'm not comfortable necessarily teaching how to do. So I'll show you a little bit, but I'm not gonna proclaim that I'm an expert and that I should teach you guys how to do this. So here we go, let's do it. All right, so I got this pretty good so far. Not perfect, but it's much better than it was. And I got the lip all straightened out. So I'm gonna start sanding this rear quarter right here so I can work that dent out on that quarter. So let's do that real quick. All right guys, time for a little progress update. Let me show you here. So got this portion 
kind of the lower portion of the rear and then I also got this portion pretty well done it's had a lot of surface rust on it so I touched it a little bit I got to get more of it though and then I'm just gonna keep working around get the very lower portions of this and the progress is good though the air compressor has a hard time keeping up so I have to take breaks and let it fill back up but overall I'm pleased so let's keep going Alrighty, little progress update again. Got most of that done. Got that. Got this one that you guys already saw. And I got that one pretty well done. I want to go back over it. I'm not very satisfied with the DA sander that I'm using. Someone recommended to me to get the Contour SCT from Eastwood. It's almost like a it's like a little belt sander, a grinder hybrid type thing. I'm going to look into getting that cuz the DA sander just it's so dependent on that air pressure. And even you know, I'm using a 33 gallon compressor and it just can't keep up. So that tool from Eastwood is actually um electric. It plugs in so you're not waiting on air to, to fill up the tank. So I might look into getting that or getting a version of it from somewhere else. So anyways, this has been a lot of work so far. I hope you guys have enjoyed the progress and uh, we'll keep getting more progress. We'll flip the bed over and finish sanding it in the next video and it'll be ready for primer. So leave a like below if you haven't yet and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.